Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling of rise. Now in today's video what I want to do is go over how to make your strong Junwoo stronger, how to make him insane, how to deal better damage with him. Now I already made a video going over the best build for him, like a really really good video. I went over the best skill, the best blessing stone, the best, the best stats and your priorities with here. I went over the best skills, I went over the best artifacts. So I do recommend checking that video out as well. Um, so definitely check it out. I will probably you know have the link down in the description but um that is a very important video just to get a more concrete way of how to build your song Jin Woo. but in today's video it's all about stronger how to make him stronger without going ahead and just focusing on all the individual parts in the game first of all you are going to be going through and getting some job changes with your song Jin Woo, and you need to pay attention to the main rewards you get because you start to unlock new skills for song Jin Woo, and you then have to keep switching out your skills and taking a look at the skills that you have in your arsenal now before i carry on with the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling or rise if you guys enjoyed this video then go ahead and click the like button so that other people can find this video as well and if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on and let's get right into it so one thing one mistake i made when i was you know playing this game was the fact that i didn't pay attention to some of the rewards i got from you know cha job changes because when you get to this stage over here you get this skill over here which is its ultimate skill so previously to this you have a different ultimate skill that honestly when you get the new one you instantly want to switch your ultimate skill i did not do that instead i was using this instead so this is the first ultimate you have and i was using this consistently until i saw a bunch of people just have different animations and i was wondering why is their animations are different then i checked and i looked at the percentage as well for the damage and the mutilate had better percentage compared to the obliteration one which i was like oh snap i have been dealing less damage with my ultimate because of that now of course i've leveled this up now to level seven and now the percentage is a lot higher but at face value when they're both at level one this truth mutilate does more damage than the darkness obliteration so you need to make sure you switch your ultimate skill to this one the moment you get to that job change as well as pay attention to the different skills you unlock because some of them has break ability some of them do not so again if you're going over to content where the bosses have a break bar you need to use skills that allows you to break the opponent's break bar as fast as possible now the two ones that are recommended is the multi-strike as well as the death dance those are the two best ones for breaking the boss's um bar as you can see heavy attack with the dark attribute one pay attention to of course the runes you have so this wind one is a weak break but you can spam this three times and this one over here is heavy break so for me i prefer the dark one because it's heavy break and also as you can see damage delta bosses and elite monsters is increased by 75 percent so pay attention to the different skills and available in the ruins so that you can better understand what the skill does and the the best way to use those you know those skills so if i'm going again i'm going against uh, a lot of mobs this will not be the best weapon and best skill because it only enhances my damage to bosses and elites especially when this is only focusing on break as well so i will then need to switch my skills do not be afraid to switch your skills guys you are not going to be using the same skills for every single content i know it kind of gets boring to always go back to be like oh, okay i need to change my skills it's boring i get it but you need to do this there is a way you can change your skills without even going over to this section over here so if i go over to manage teams you go over to here let's say you're inside a stage and you want to change the skills you before you enter you just go over to this you press it you press this and now you can change the skills without actually going over to the song to rule section you can do that for your hunters as well with the artifact sets as well so again very important because this will allow you to do extra damage as well okay you're going to get runes as well hopefully you get lucky with the rune drops because there are some skills that are just really good when you have certain runes as well now i'm kind of upset that i don't have this because i really want this it gives me a shield and i can stun the opponent and you can counter attack i really really want this but of course i don't have it do i have every single rune yeah i do except except this one which sucks oh and this one as well that sucks and of course we got the new weapon a um, new skill as well so i don't have any um ruins for this one as well so hopefully i can get this later on okay so to get ruins as well i'm pretty sure you guys know but you go over to fusion and you fuse this oh perfect so i got one to do right now 
this I already have this okay if you get dupe basically you go into this one and then you can add all three of them perfect and you fuse this hopefully you get the good ones no so this this is a shaft right there we, we converted three blue ones to get one blue one that sucks right there that sucks that's ass absolute doo-doo um but can i do ones with no i can't do i have any for blessing stones nope i don't okay anyways that's important don't fo don't focus on blessing stones right now you guys are not a level 50 i believe you need to unlock blessing stones you guys are not at level 50 so don't worry about that okay um but once you get to level 50 of course take a look at the blessing stones you have you won't have a lot trust me it's very hard to get blessing stones but the ones that increases your damage and whatever is what you equip on here okay of course weapons now some do use ssr weapons of course will deal better damage but you can actually use sr weapons there are a bunch of really good sr weapons the reason why you also want to use sr weapons if you don't have dupe on your ssr is the fact that you also get precision from here from it as well so there you go but of course if you get one dupe or two dupe it kind of counters out and you can still use the ssr for that precision increase stuff but you can use sr weapons guys do not be afraid to use them of course there are some better sr weapons than the other use west wind honestly if you have its third dupe you need third dupe for west wind before i recommend using it using it you also get this for free it's a decent weapon guys you get this is a good weapon as well this is a good weapon as well um i believe this one is a decent weapon as well or good weapon this one is a good weapon this one freezes does it do any damage i think it's decent i guess um yeah anyone that does good damage so using sr weapons is viable to allow your song jungle to deal more damage and again again i've said this multiple times if you're clearing through story and you can't clear a content because you think you're not strong enough change your weapons to dark type you don't even have to level it up so let's say this was okay so this is not let's just assume this is not dark and i can't clear this what i would do is switch my weapons even at level 20 it's beneficial it doesn't really matter at level 20 you can just use them so that's why I, a lot of my sr weapons i still use them even though i haven't leveled it up i use this weapon i use this weapon as well so if i go over to let me show you right now so if i go over to power of destruction please tell me i'm still at rank three yes i am perfect as you can see rank three and if you want to see the weapon i used i use this weapon i haven't even leveled it up it's level 20 you can still use them even if you haven't leveled it up as long as you have elemental advantage which i do have in here boss info it's recommended elements is light so again pay attention to the recommended element and your song jiru will deal way more damage absolutely way more damage okay let's just switch this all back perfect so skills talked about that artifact sets the game will give you the armed set already because for pre-registration you get given the armed set it's level 30 but especially when this is the start of the game it is going to be actually useful but you need to only enhance it to only plus five because it's a level 30 gear you will switch out of it later on hopefully you can get some crit rate and crit damage in terms of the stats that is important for him it is crit rate crit damage and just attack stat those are the three most important ones for your song jin rule and um, you want to make sure his crit rate is at least 50% or close to 50% sorry and then his precision you want it to be at 90% it's a sweet spot 90% and then for crit damage as high as you possibly can of course right now it's not the best for me so I'd love to switch this honestly so I got crit hit damage that's good let's check this one this one could be improved definitely could be improved uh yeah I think crit damage I need to know if crit damage is better than just attack instead so i need dark i recommend dark because you will be using dark weapons a lot so dark and fire are the two main actually no dark and yeah just dark actually dark elements so dark damage from here so uh yeah okay of course if you guys are trying to you know build artifact sets for song jiru sometimes it's just important to focus on the sub stats rather than the full set sometimes you might not have the ability to create full sets of this particular artifact because you realize that the other artifacts you had does, just doesn't have good substats, then don't use it. And that's what I did for my Charhain. If I go over to Charhain, um, focus on your Song Jumbo, guys, as you're clearing. Oh my days, this is my first time getting a bug. Okay, well, it fixed itself, but I was not expecting that. 
So my Char Hain over here, of course, the best artifact will be a full set of the toughness, but I can't because I just don't have good um, pieces. So I went with this one with increased crit rate and it's perfect for her because she needs to crit. And that's why, look at this, it's insane. She is stronger than my Song Jiwoo, I think. I'm not sure. Actually, no, Song Jiwoo has ult um, insane ultimate percentage. And uh, what else does he have? That's good. He has broken skills as well. Okay. So that's how you make your Song Jin Wu stronger, guys. Again, I recommend watching the video I went over, which goes over literally every part of Song Jin Wu. That it goes over the best part. So the weapons, the skills, the blessing stones, the the sats over here, the skills, the artifacts, the substats. It's an insane video. I recommend you guys watching it. And uh, yeah, it's been your boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm out.